My voice might be raspy because I'm not that hydrated. So doing doing Ramadan and like I was frustrated last night with these people. And I went to bed and I set my alarm, but I think my alarm was on silent. So I didn't, and when I woke up, it was like past when fasting time starts or like, or, or technically right when I woke up, maybe, maybe it was like right around the time that like fasting stopped, but, uh, or fasting started. So like, if I would have like gotten up right when I woke up, like maybe I could have like Maybe I could have drank some water or maybe it would have been just past when like fasting for the day started. But so I didn't like get to even even if I have the night to like eat and drink, like I still don't know. Like there's like an art to this of like getting everything in your system in like in the amount of time. that you have because from like eight roughly eight ten to roughly like five and it changes every day eventually it's going to be like four something a.m but like that's about nine hours so if you don't and some of that it's it's nighttime so you might want to use it to sleep um but like that's nine hours that's actually a good amount of time But sometimes don't start eating or drinking right away when able to. Probably end up getting a little bit of a nap in at some point. Uh, but yeah, so like last night I was frustrated and then woke up this morning to that. Like couldn't even drink this cup of water. Like couldn't even get like can't even brush my teeth and I and my like my teeth are like hopefully I'm not getting cavities or something but like I was I was struggling eating the cookie cake with added frosting <laughs> that I was eating yesterday that I was eating last night anywho I'm noticing that like some people a few, a, like a couple people that I've like mentioned on this channel, like or not on this channel, well technically on this channel because if it's mentioned in this series, it's mentioned in this channel. But like I've noticed that like a, like a few people are popping over at. On the Mindac team, and that's and that's surprising. Um. Like one. Like, one of them I had heard from someone that he might be joining, but, like, he's, like, a prominent, he's, like, a prominent player for the Invaders, so, like, that, so, I, maybe people just, like, bounce around, but not, I mean, but, like, 2019 versus 2021, I don't remember, like, I mean, I noticed, like, like, Michael Haas, I remember him, like, but I didn't, like, process that way. Like, I think technically, because I remember when we played him. So, it, I'm guessing it's this is the Titans that he would have been on. Like, he's the only person that I could, like, that from 2019 to 2021, maybe, that I could kind of see that he, like. But, like, there's some, like, there's a couple people that are, like prominent pe people that are like like the person that I said is like the best captain that I've like I mean I don't know if I said exactly this way but the person that I said is like the best captain that I've experienced that like I've ever had in sports 
I don't know if I said it exactly like that, but like, like he over there now. And it's interesting because like, it's like both prior years that I ended up like playing with the invaders. Like, I don't know if he was like, I know the, but I don't, I don't know if he was like a prominent reason, but like, it's, it had always been a thing. Well, I guess only two times, but like in the mall, I'd always run into him in the mall. The first time I think I thought he was, I thought I thought, I think I thought I was talking to Dante Star. The first, the first time that happened in 2019, but we, we always like both times we would end up crossing paths, like at the same part of the mall, like same part of the mall. I don't know. I don't know if we ever run each other besides the once in 2019, the once in 2021, like, and actually it might in 2021, at least it might be his words that actually like, maybe not the full reason, maybe, I don't know, but in 2021, his his words might've been like, what, because he was talking about like, we have to like, like, defend the champ, like the, the pioneers are putting together a super team or someone was putting together a super team and we need like, I don't know, like, maybe he said we need you or something like that, like, if, and at least for 2021, if not for, because, because I remember, I remember, like, him saying all that he said, like, put me in, like, a frame of, like, like, he, he, his words in 2021, 2021 actually affected me, 2019, us running into each other, and him talking, like, and him, like, hyping stuff, like, I don't know how much, That'd be interesting if it was, though, if even in 2019, like, it's his words that affected, that affected me. And there was a point in, there was a point in 2019 that, like, I didn't, 2019, maybe even, there was a point, like, I don't know if it was mid-2019 or end-2019 or something, where I felt off with him because of something he'd had happen in his own life, and then I tried to, like, bring it up and... And I think, a, I mean, I think, I think more or less a decent way. And it was just kind of like shut down kind of. So that threw me off. Um, and so I felt off about him after that. But then like, I came to like, see him in a good light again, like having him as a, having him as a captain and just, and just how, I don't know. Or I think that's, I think that's essentially what put it back in a good light but dang here i am on another team and and he pops up so maybe, maybe people are just meant to be in your path or something or certain parts of your path but um it's also interesting that i've come to be something that's so negative at least at least according to whoever is behind the keyboard for the for those youtube comments because like i was looking through like old messages with petsnick because i was because and the and i think the reason i was because i was looking i was trying to look at old messages with petsnick and like um like coach stitch and like to see because there was a player maybe back in 2019, I don't know, at some point in the past that, like, was, like, taking off the page and apparently was saying racist stuff or something, and, like, and I remember I, like, I think I, like, slightly tried to, like, inquire in his, in his behalf almost, or, like, kind of, like, like, kind of ask what was up on that, and I think, I think he's over on the Titans, too, like, and in fact, I, yo, I ran into so I was at MSUM like to work on rap stuff with with dude with Mr. Boombap. And Mr. Boombap be doing be be doing too much, but um, but he's also, but Mr. Boombap is also a really nice guy. Sometimes personalities are just the way different people's minds work, and maybe just struggle to fit with each other. And sometimes people also have resources that add to their value. Though hopefully that's not used in a heartless or ill way. But, um, because, like, I even got a ride from someone that I worked with yesterday, and, and, like, I didn't 
feel compatible with him, so to speak, but, like, he was a nice guy, and, like, he's, like, just offering to drive me places. Mm. Everyone is a resource. I am a resource. But, um, but, yeah, at MSUM, I ran into Coach Lockway and Coach Murph. Um, when I was waiting for the bus, and so I was talking, <laughs> I was talking to Coach Lockway, I was talking about how, like, because Co Coach Lockway's like, what are you up to, and stuff, I'm like, and one of the things I said is, like, I haven't advanced on, like, the societal ladder, <laughs> or something like that, and he's like, oh, that's fine, like, obviously you're doing well, um, or something like that, but, um, have you seen my hair, but, um, <laughs> but, um, But he ta but he mentioned like if I'm not mistaken he mentioned said same person that and I didn't like I heard the name and like because he apparently works with cars or something and like I heard the name I'm like why is he from like I don't know why I why is he familiar or something I think that's why unless I'm connecting dots wrong I think that's the same dude from that got taken off the invaders page because he was like apparently saying racist stuff or something or other and like and i remember when that happened i talked to someone but i i was looking through the messages and i couldn't i couldn't find i couldn't find it in messages to petsnik or with coach stitch um so I, I thought it was one of those unless it was someone else i don't know but but i couldn't find it but i think that's the same dude and coach lockway brought up this dude he was like oh he like he, like, he was helping with my car the other day, or, I don't know, something, and, um, and, like, the, and, so I, I think that's the dude, and I, and I think he's on the Titans, and, and then, like I said, like, there's some people, like, switching from the invaders, it's like, it's like there's another side to the story that, like, you don't get shown and that and that doesn't just apply for football like i i wanted to compare this to like day labor because i have a day labor boss that like i love and but sometimes i like hear stuff about like stuff like how she's affected people or something and like that make like on your way to the top like there's people that you're gonna end up like of like of like negatively affecting like or there's gonna be stories about you like that makes sense if you think about it um, I mean, but some people also end up having good reputation. So, I mean, maybe it shouldn't just chalk up to like, oh, that's going to happen. It, it can be the case. Like it, you will potentially like develop like, rep, like just stories that are told about you or whatever. Because I remember I, I had the courage to like one day <laughs> to like bring up one of the things. And I remember she like, and I'm pretty sure she was being honest that like, that's not even a thing. Like, um, and sometimes if you don't ask questions, like there's just ideas that you, cause when I used to work at a different day labor place, I remember I thought, um, and maybe this is, this is like when I like was still working for both cause there's an overlap period where I was working for both day, day labor places. So maybe it was during that, um, that I like mentioned to the, the dude that I used to do day labor for, like I thought him and I thought like him and the the woman from the place that I do daily before now, I thought they had been together in the past. And I thought that dude from old daily replace, I thought that his son was their son, which is not the case. So like, if you don't ask questions, there's stuff, there's stuff that you could just end up thinking that's just wrong. But then sometimes you can ask questions and not be answered, which is what came to be the case with the invaders at the end of my journey. But it's it's interesting that, like, w what I was going to compare football and day labor with is that, like, with day labor, like, you, like, they, to some degree, like, they, they're essentially looking out for their interests, like, I, in my day labor experience, like, I have a, like, my boss loves me, I love my boss, even though, like, I feel some type of way because, like, of some of the stuff that I hear, so I kind of have to remedy that, um, 
but that's not even just with her, with my boss for, or who, my contact for stagehand stuff from a conversation we've had in the past or something that sticks with me from something he said that, that he was, I mean, he was brave enough to be open about, but like that sticks with me a weird way. And I don't even know how to like, it'd be awkward to like even reopen that conversation, but like, and he's a great guy, but like, just to know that. And that, that goes to say as well that like, you don't know what everyone has done. Like, yes, you can look at a person and they can seem fine. Like there's a time that I did a stagehand gig for the NFL. Or was it the NFL? The Super, the Super Bowl, which is the NFL. So the Super Bowl award show or something back in like, I don't know. Let me guess 2018. I could be wrong. But, um, and there is this dude there that just seemed like the greatest guy. And then one day he started opening up more and like, he'd be cheating and he, and he borderline be proud of it. Like. You look at him and he seems like such a like big dude, seems like a put together guy or something like just looks like like just seems like such a and so polite or something. But once he's talking with the guys like. He like. Not even ask questions at one point. I'm like, does does your wife know? Because, you know, some people some people into the, some people into that stuff. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but at least some people have that like understanding between them and their partner. But like, nah. It doesn't even seem like she knows. At one point, we were talking religion. And maybe in some room, me, him, and some other dudes or people. And he talking about, that's how God made me. And he was trying to talk about Allah. Or something. He was trying to talk. There's something Muslim related that he was trying to talk about. And he got his words wrong. I don't know if he misused or misplaced the word Allah or... Muhammad, or he, maybe he thought Muhammad was the name of the God. I don't know. He got, he has something off with how he was trying to explain stuff, but by how, but point, point being, I'm going different directions and that's how I, that's how I be like thinking, but hopefully I can pan things out as I do my branch work. But point being that like, you can look at someone you could be friends with someone, but you don't know everything that they've done. There's people that rock with me that if they knew some aspect, it might even be an aspect of my past that I feel okay with. It might be a part of my past that I struggle with, but like that if they knew that, they'd be like, oh, like it throw them off. So it might, so it might be hard for people like if they watch my YouTube videos because I try to be open my YouTube videos, like seeing, like if they end up seeing sides that like, it's like, oh, because you know, not every like, the videos that I upload are not just dancing IB. They're not just IB freestyling to encourage you. Okay, that that side you you gonna see. IB freestyling to encourage you more or less, or some variation overlap of that you you would see in this channel. But at least dancing IB you're not gonna primarily see. Um, but so that being said, on how. If you see someone and they seem like maybe they dress the part, maybe they look a certain way, maybe you're even friends with someone and know them to a degree, like you're not with any person every step of their life. So they could do something that like, so, so like with the boss that I'm talking about currently where I hear stuff that she's at, like, there's other people in my life that have done stuff that I'm just not aware of. And so if a genuine bond exists, then, I mean, if something happens like presently that I'm aware of, or maybe even if the conversation goes such a way that I can bring up, like I said, I brought up one of the things and found out that it wasn't even the case. So even the stuff that I've heard, another thing is that even the stuff that I've heard, like I'm not hearing her side of the story. But it also comes to the point that I, that I maybe realize that like, if someone were to like, just bring up to me like, oh, I heard about this, uh, I heard that you're not allowed at any YMCA's, like, oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe that, it is hard for me to tell everything on that story, but, like, 
someone just bringing it up, like, for that actually maybe wouldn't be hard for me. Um, what's something that someone could ask me that would be hard for me? Hey, I heard that... Oh, yeah, okay. If, if they talked, if they brought up, like, what's essentially been my biggest insecurity or my, the hardest thing for me to, um biggest insecurity some like the the thing that in this channel has been like the point that i've touched on repeatedly but that i keep like that that is kind of that boss level if someone like asked that and it and especially for where if it were like in an in an aggressive mode or like and 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 not like a friendly asking or something um, but so that being said, going back to, um, that player that was taken off the invaders page, like, oh no, going back, well, kind of yes, but, but going back to like comparing fo football and daily were like, and other things as well, potentially like people aren't always like fully looking for your best interest. Like with the invaders, like my coach, especially last year, like, not even just last year, like, my defensive, defensive coaches cared about me, like, when, when someone who's, like, my teacher tells, tells me, like, dance IB or something like that, that's when you know they, like, know you, or they, like, are on some right stuff, like, I've, I've, at, in some freestyle to some football movie for movie magic, or maybe even elsewhere, I know I've, I think I've, like, gotten on them about, like, oh, I could, could have had, or I've talked about, like, oh, I could have better coaches or, like, just something to take, like, kind of towards, like, taking me to a great level, like, some of these players that you see in some of these movies or something, and that's true, like, but also, they're good coaches. Like, I had good defensive coaches last year, I had, and even in, back when Coach Stitch was in, just an offensive coach, like, I remember one time in the locker room after a game, like, he was talking about, like, positive stuff that I did. I think, or there's something he did in the locker room once. I don't know if it was after a game that he talked about some positive stuff I did, or maybe even before a game, maybe even that same game. I don't know, but maybe before a game, he was just, he just asked like how I was doing. I don't know. One or both of those things happened. Like, so like, like they're good. So they like, they care about me, but it's, but it's to a degree because if people fully, if Fargo and Vader rise, like people like fully cared about me. Unless, unless they just didn't think to mention it because of the distance, like, how come when it came to the point that, like, I'm all, po like, toxic to the whole, granted, that, that might just be, that's not an, an opinion that all invaders share, but whoever is behind the keyboard for, on the YouTube comments or whatnot, but if it came to be the point that I'm, like, poisonous for everyone or whatnot, for staff or players, for whatever all was said, or whoever was mentioned, like, why wouldn't they just say, like, why don't you try a different team? There's other teams you can try, like, unless they thought I'd be poisonous for that team, too. Um, but, um, and that's, like, with day labor, like, with day labor, like, they, like, it comes to the point that you feel that, like, I, like, I feel, if I were to, like, to, I feel, I feel weird about, like, if I were to go to, like, to a different day labor place, even though there's no contract or there's no, like thing of like you can't work at different day labor places but there there's kind of like or like if you do what's what's another thing like um i feel like there's another experience in life or something that kind of connects to this but i can't i'm not exactly honing into what it what what it is i feel like it might be food related um but there's just sometimes that like people like or like if you like if for example if you go to AT and T or something they're not gonna be like oh T Mobile has a service that you could get why don't you try them like their job is to make them make you come to them like people aren't always fully out for your best interest they're like partially out for your best interest um so Okay, any other free form thoughts that I need to talk?
tie up. I've noticed in my in my GRJ series reflections, one of the last videos in that series, um, in relation to this Jesusism religion idea that I am again tr trying to start, uh, I noticed that I just I have a lot of animosity towards, like. Because in the greatness that I feel like Jesusism could become, um, I, I see myself like this budding, like, kind of want to like just, like, mention people that have wronged me or that I feel wrong by and stuff. Or, I mean, and there, maybe there's more to it than that, but that's still the general, like a general thing that I'm seeing in myself. And I'm just seeing that I have like, a lot of animosity or a lot of I, I know that I have a lot of hurt with people and I think that's like unfortunately I mean I think that's the reality of American culture and maybe just maybe even just life or maybe modern day with social media and stuff maybe that plays into it somehow but like Like two two things that I'm no, that I notice that I'm noticing in this restarting the Jesusism effort is one that like I, that animosity that I was talking about and it's not it's not just cut and dry like oh I'm gonna mention everyone that's wrong me like there's there's it's not it's not all bad of like stuff personal stuff that I want to talk about like like for example I even thought of like 